Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to do an applied example of matrices, and I'm going to do the um, traffic problem. So, the question is, set up a system of equations that represents the relationship given by the traffic flow and the traffic between the intersections in the following example. So, in this example, I've got four intersections, A, B, C, D, and I've got four roads. X1 goes this way. In X2, the cars are driving this way. In X3, you're traveling this way. And in X4, you're going this way. So, at intersection A, I'm getting cars that are coming down X4 and cars that are going across X1. And that equals there's 300 cars coming down X4 and 1,200 going across X1. So X4 plus X1 is 300 plus 1,200. So that's going to be 1,500 cars in that intersection at you know any given time. So at B, I'm dealing with cars traveling this way, and there's 800 of them. So that's X1, and cars traveling this way along X2, and there's 500 of them. So 800 and 500 is going to be 1,300 cars in that intersection. Um, at intersection C, I have got cars traveling up X2, and traveling across X3, there's 1,400 and 400, so that's going to be 1,800 in that intersection. And then at D, I've got cars coming this way through X3, and going this way down X4, so that's 1,300 and 1,700, that's 2,000 cars in that intersection. So next you want to solve the system by sticking it in a matrix. So I think I'm going to tell you the row operations I'm doing, but I'm not actually going to do it. Um, I have videos on how to solve a matrix. Um, this one's not very, it's not too hard. There's only three steps, I think. So you're going to start x1, x2, x3, oh no. X4, and then whatever your number is. So to set up this matrix, in the first situation, you've got 1x4 plus 1x1. You don't have any x2s, you don't have any x3s, and that gives you 1,500 cars. At B, oh no, I didn't do enough little spaces in my uh, little square brackets. Okay, it's okay. So, in B, I have 1x1, 1x2, no x3, no x4, and that gives me 1,300 cars. At C, I don't have any x1, but I have an x2, an x3, but I don't have an x4. And I have 1,800 cars, or horses, giraffes, anything, doesn't matter. Um, at D, I've got nothing there, and then an X3, an X4, and 2,000. Okay, so the first step I did to solve this matrix, I did R2 minus R1, and that gave me, turned this into a zero, and then I did R3 minus R2, and that Okay, then that turned this into a zero. And then R4 minus R3 left me with this matrix. I've got X1, X2, X3, X4, and I got 
And I got 1,500, and then negative 200, 2,000, and 0. So here we've got a bit of a problem. These are all 0. So, I mean, they could be anything. We have our case um, that I talked about in my last video of infinitely many solutions. So when you have infinitely many solutions, you let z equal t. Z just means, you know, whatever's in this column. So in this case, it's x4 equals t. So that's one of my solutions. Then I have x1 plus x4. x4 is t equals 1500. I'm going to write that instead as x1 equals... 1500 minus x4, which turns out to be t, and then I've got x2 here equals negative 200 plus t, and then x3 turns out to be 200, this is plus x4, so I'll take it to the other side, minus x4, and x4 is t. So minus T. So here's your solution. I hope you found this video helpful.